Hey there everyone, Tiffany Quinn here and this is your full body dumbbell strength training. Throughout today's 30 minute routine, I'll be helping you build lean muscle definition throughout using a series of dumbbell exercises and the five most basic movement patterns used in strength training and bodybuilding. Additionally, we will be including a series of hip thrust challenges repeated five times throughout the workout to increase the intensity of your routine. Now before I get into the equipment that we'll be using, I would like to say that throughout my own years of training, I've found that the best results you can get come from mastering the basics and that's exactly what you'll be doing here today. Now for your equipment, you'll want to have ready your upper and lower body dumbbells, preferably a lighter and a heavier set to work with, and we'll also be incorporating the chair for elevation during our hip thrusts. Now keep in mind you can also use a bench for the hip thrust exercise, or if you prefer to go without the elevation, you can perform that same move directly on your mat. Now smash that thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel for a new workout every week, and stay tuned to the end where I'll be announcing what next month's free fitness guide will be and how you can grab a hold of it. All right, everyone, let's get into it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to our full body strength training workout. Now, given the nature of strength training, you will be able to use your heavier dumbbells throughout as we will be going at a slower tempo with a slightly longer rest period between our supersets, and we really want to apply more attention to our muscles to stimulate muscular development throughout. Now, as far as the structure goes, we have a total of 15 supersets. Our timer will be set throughout for 45 seconds work, another 45 seconds work, then we have that 30 second rest between. Now I've broken down our, our 15 supersets into five main sections. Each of these will be covering a specific movement pattern such as pressing, pulling, hinging, squatting, or pushing. And we are starting off with pressing. So for example, our first two exercises, our first two supersets I should say, will be based on that pressing movement and then our third superset of every round will be those hip thrusts. Keep in mind you can also use a bench or perform the same exercise on the mat. So no matter what, you'll be able to do this workout. So I'm starting with my 20 pound weights today. We're coming onto our back starting with a wide chest press. I'll start our timer in just a moment. So bring yourself down, the weights are in hand. We're going to start from the top, palms are facing the feet. It's down, two, three to the sides, and press. Going in three, let's get those weights ready. Going in two, going in one. All right, lie on back for me. Lift those weights overhead, relax the shoulders away from the ears, and it's down, two, three, and up towards the ceiling. Keeping a slight bend in the elbows, at the top, one, two, three, and press. Keeping the wrists in line with the elbows, bending and extending, trying to come down at the same level on either side. And press, one, two, three, and press. One, two, three, and press. Great start. Breathing throughout, feet in a comfortable position. Let's do one more two, three, and up. Now hold them high, we alternate. Left comes down, and raise. Right comes down, and raise. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Incredible. So five sections, starting with pressing, then we move into, move into our hinging motion, then comes pulling, squatting, and we finish off with our pushing. One, two, three, and press. All basic movement patterns that you need to be successful in all the basic exercises that lead into the more intermediate and advanced ones. One more on either side. Last one, lift it up, bring the palms in, elbows down, and weights to the floor. So this is actually going to be the only superset that we'll be repeating two times through, aside from our hip thrust, so we're going straight back into those chest presses. Working into the pectoralis major and pectoralis minor, going in 10 seconds. Take your breather, grab a sip of water, coming back into position for me in four, in three, two and one. Down, two, three and up. I'm going to give you this time to focus on the weights that you're using facing straight ahead. Feeling that tension build up in the muscles. And up. Gently tap the floor and press back up. Controlling both the downward and the upward motion. 
and up. And up. You have 15 seconds left, then we alternate. Another three. Another two. Last one, now hold it high. In two, in one. Starting on the left, two, three, and up. To the right, two, three, and up. Forming that 90 degree angle. And your arm comes parallel with the mat, the upper portion of your arm. And up, remember to breathe. Using the other side weight that's not moving to help maintain your balance. Both shoulders staying on the mat. 20 seconds. Let's get another four more. Another three. Last two. Remember to even out both sides. Lift it up. Now take these five seconds to bring those palms in, elbows in towards the waist, and lower the weights down. Now for all of hip thrusts today, I will be going with my 35 pound weight. We're going to load that up onto the pelvic bones. Now if you're using the chair, the shoulders come to the edge of the chair, the feet come into a triangular position on the mat, then we lift the hips up. We're gonna hold here while you get into position. We have seven seconds. Our first exercise is a full hip thrust. Going in two, going in one, just follow along with me. It's down, two, three to the floor, up, two, three to the ceiling, slow and controlled. The back is staying straight throughout, chin is tucked to the chest, hip bones curling forward at the top towards your chin. Trying to keep your shins parallel with the wall and your thighs parallel with the mat when you come up. Slow and slow. If you can get a little bit more depth there, even better. Pressing up through the heels, squeezing your glutes at the top. Up, two, three to the top. Down, two, three to the floor. Last time up, now hold here. Our second exercise is pulses. It's down, two, up, two. You're coming down about a quarter of the way and squeezing at the top. Lift and lower. Lift, squeeze, lower. Back is staying straight. No overarching, it's slow controlled pulses. Then we change the tempo up a bit on our second run through. Up, two, lower, two. Up, two, lower, two. Another three. Another two. Last one. Now slowly lower yourself down, be gentle and lower that weight over to the side. We're coming up to standing now, going into our narrow deadlift. So now into the hinging portion of our workout. Rather than squatting, we hinge forward with the upper body, the weights come in front, painting down the thighs, painting down the shins, and back up, going in 10 seconds. Going in five, going in four, three, two, grab a hold of those weights. It's down. Two, three, slowly up. Two, three, core is tight, back is straight, following the eye gaze forward. Pushing the booty out and away from you. Not a squatting motion, hinging forward. And raise, resetting the shoulders back and down at the top. Always a good reminder. And raise, you have 15 seconds here. For our second exercise, coming into a wide position on the mat, straight into sumo deadlift. And lift. Deadlift squats, I should say. And up. Last time, lower one of those weights to the side. I'm going my 35 pound weight for this. The feet come wide, slightly angled outward. Now hinge forward, we squat down, two, three, and up two, three, and up. Pulling up through the hamstring. One, two, three, and raise. Knees are wide, staying behind the toes. Slight hinge forward with the upper body. And up. And up. Three more. Breathe through it. Two more. 
Last one, make it worth it. Bring it on up and lower that weight down. Okay, next superset, sticking with that hinging movement pattern. One foot comes back with the heel raised. That front foot is where you're placing all of your weight as you come down and up into our single leg deadlift. I think I'm gonna go for the gold today and go with that 35 pound weight. Going in 10 seconds. Preferably your weaker side to start on. Going in three, going in two, and one. Take it away. Slow and controlled. If you can, try to lift the balancing leg toes just slightly off the mat. Shoulder away from the ear. Weight stays very close to the body. Feeling the stretch in your hamstring and coming back up, stopping where your hip rotation ends. So you may be able to come down to the shin. For others, it might be to the knee. That's all right. Where you're comfortable, where you feel that stretch, and then bring it back up. 45 seconds each side. Switching over in two. In one, as you come down, lower that weight off and switch sides going in three, two, one, two, three to lower, one, two, three to raise. Feel that tension. Allow that leg to shake, okay? Slow. Slow, core is tight. Back is straight. Think about forming a 90 degree angle between your upper body, your lower body, and the mat in front of you. 15 seconds. Then we've got our second set of hip thrust clusters. They go quick. Three more. Two more. Burn that timer out last time. Lift it up and that weight can stay with you. Line yourself up with that chair, otherwise on the floor. Heels come in a little bit closer. Remember, we're working those glutes, so you're squeezing those at the top. Going in 15 seconds. If you'd like, you can come into that hold. Keeping the weight on the pelvic bones. If you need something softer under you, just place a towel between your pelvic bones and the dumbbell. Going in three, two, one. Same tempo as the first time. One, two, three to the floor. One, two, three to the top. Eye gaze forward. Lifting through the heels. Squeezing those glutes. Tailbone tucking towards the chin. Not a lot to remember, right? Lift, two, three. Lower, two, three. If you need some support for your head, the hand can come behind. Just don't pull on your head forward. Up, two, three. Lower, two, three. Try to sink a little bit deeper without arching the back. Last time, up. Now hold your hips up high. Both hips are in alignment towards the ceiling. It's one, two, one, two, a little faster than last time. Again, keeping that focus on the glutes, all the tension there, lifting those hips up. One, two, one, two, 25 seconds. Focus, feel that burn. Are you giving it what you've got? If you don't feel the burn yet, the weight on your hips is not heavy enough. One, two. One, two. Another five. Three. Last one, hold. Slowly lower it down and lower that weight over to the side. All right, that is two of three complete. We're going into a supported single arm row now. I'm switching back to my 20 pound weights. You may use the chair or simply stand for this one. So the weight is facing towards your thigh, coming into a standing position, hinging forward just like we did, the palm to the edge of the seat, grab a hold of that weight, it's row to the waist, hold, slowly lower. One, two, three, four. Allow a bit of a stretch at the bottom of that motion without rocking or dipping the upper body. Great job. We're going that full, Super set on the one side. Take your time. If you need to reset and stand, that's fine. 
This is also a great way to strengthen lower back over time. Hold and slowly lower. Control that portion of the exercise. You own that weight. Another three. And two. Last one. Now lower that weight down. The palm faces out away from you now. And it comes up towards the waist. Hold, slowly lower. Using that chair as a support. Micro bend in the knees. Hinging forward, thinking about that 90 degree angle. And working into those back muscles. Bring it up, hold, slowly lower. Facing straight ahead, eye gaze stays forward. Our second superset is on that opposite side. Then we have our third round of hip thrusts. Looking forward to it. Last two. Last one. Lower it down and take that rest in standing. Okay, how do we feel? We're almost to our third set of hip clusters, which will mark getting past the halfway point of your workout. So stay with it. Going in 15 seconds over to that other side. Find a position that's comfortable. Palm comes to the edge of the chair for support. Going in eight, going in six, five, four. Remember, keeping that eye gaze forward, squeezing the core tight into that palms in row towards the waist, slowly lower. Up, hold, and slowly down. Quick squeeze at the top, building that tension, allowing a bit of a stretch right at the bottom of that movement without arching the back, or dipping one shoulder lower than the other. I want everything in alignment here. Breathing throughout. You guys have been getting my, my harder exercises through this past, past month. Squeeze up, slowly lower. At your own pace. Two more. One more. Lower that weight down, turn the palm to face away. Again, up towards the waist. Slight pause and lower. I really like these because it does allow you to pick up a heavier weight without over straining. You've got that chair there for support. We've got no excuse but to keep going. Core is still tight and it's our third set of hip thrusts after this. You can do it. I do think this workout goes by insanely fast. Squeeze up and slowly lower. This is our pulling section of the workout. Think about pulling on a lawnmower cord, trying to start it up. Two more. Last one. Lower that weight down. I'm going to go ahead and grab my heaviest weight once again. Now, if I was on my own and not talking, I'd probably be using my 50 pound weight. All right, so we've got 20 seconds. Load that weight onto the pelvis. Shoulders come to the edge of the chair. You'll be happy to know our last set of hip thrusts will be body weight only. So working towards that goal, coming up in five, in four, lift those hips up for me. Three, two on one, it's down, two, three to the floor. Let's add a little bit of a toe lift there and then lift up. One, two, three, lift the toes up, two, three, lower them back. One, two, three to the top. It's slow. You're breathing throughout. You're thinking about those glutes, the glute max, squeezing there. And up, two, three, and lower, two, three. Lift the toes, up, two, three. Lower, two, three, lift the toes. Last one, now hold it high. We're back to our slow-mo pulses. Slow-mo, slow motion. Down, two, up, two. Squeezing at the top every time. Eye gaze forward. No arch in the back. Core is nice and tight. You can do this. 25 seconds. Slowly lower, slowly up. It's a quarter range down, not even halfway. I want you to keep that tension there. 13 seconds, don't give up on those last 10 seconds. You have four more, three more. 
Last two. Last one. Slowly bring it on down. Okay, that's officially set three of five. We're almost there. Going into our squatting portion of the workout. So for this next one, if you can go with that heavier weight, I've got to keep talking, so I'm going with my 20 pound. Into goblet squat. Now for this one, the weight shouldn't be away from your body. It's got to be up against the chest. So up against the chest, feet are in line with the hips, slightly angled outward. We come down, the elbows meet the thighs, and up, let's go. One, two, three, and up. Working the quad muscles. At no point should that dumbbell come forward in front of your knees. It stays in line, right up against the chest. And up. Elbows are tucked in towards the waist. You're feeling good, you know you're almost there. Past the halfway. 15 seconds, I'm gonna give you a five second in between to switch to our sumo glute squats. And up. And up. Last time, bring it up. Now holding that weight low, taking the feet nice and wide. This time, the torso stays upright. It's a squat, not a hinge. So it's down, two, three, and lift. Like we did before, with the exception of that hinge forward. Booty below the torso. Staying upright, feeling those glutes working. Foot turnout is a little bit further than that goblet squat. And up. Keeping a micro bend in the knees at the top. Squeeze those glutes, girl. Squeeze up, slowly lower. Another three. Two, you're almost there. Last one, one more lower for me. Bring it on up and come into standing. Now our next set, 45 seconds per side, Bulgarian split squat. Technically, sometimes I'll call this a lunge. It is a squat because we're not actually moving forward and backward. So if you're only using the mat today, you're coming into a whoo, static lunge position, down and up. Otherwise, bring that weight into the working side hand. Line yourself up with that chair. Take your time. Twist yourself forward into the Bulgarian lunge. Slowly lower, slight explosion upward. Still keeping a micro bend in the knee. Facing straight ahead. Knee stays behind the toe. And raise. And raise. 45 seconds each side. I'll give you a five second transfer over. And up through the glute. Through the supporting heel. Another four. Three. Two more. Last one, changing sides in four, three, two, and one. And raise, okay. So this completes our squatting section. From here we have our next hip thrust, next set of hip thrusts. And then we switch to our lightest weights for the final portion of the workout. And then we have a body weight only hip thrust section. You can do this, get through it. Slowly down, and up. Knee behind that toe, micro hinge forward with the upper body. Another three, two, last one, and lift it up. Okay, so you may have seen, by the way, that I do flex my foot for Bulgarian lunges. This is optional. You can allow it to be flat or you can flex it. That's what's comfortable for me. Do what's best for you. Okay, 15 seconds. Load that weight onto the pelvic bones. We've got our last set with the weight. If you want, pop that band on, make it a little bit harder. This time we're taking the feet a little bit further away from the body. Dig the heels in, lift the hips up, working more of the hamstrings this time. Down, two, three to the floor. Up, two, three to the top. Now this time we're adding that toe lift at the bottom. Lift up and pull. One, two, three, lift the toes. One, two, three, add a pulse. Lift the toes. 
at a pulse. Incredible. Almost there, 15 seconds. Then straight into our pulses. Up, two, three with the pull. Lower, two, three, lift the toes. One more. Last time down. Last time up, hold them high. We've got our quick pulses. One, two, one, two. Feel that burn. I want your glutes on fire tomorrow. I'm hoping that within this time frame, you've already grown a fourth butt cheek. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Nice and fast. Little bit faster. One, two, one, two, amazing. 18, 17, 14, 12, 10 more, 8 more, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, and lower yourself down. I am grabbing a hold of my 10 pound weights for this next section. If you'd like, you can go a little bit heavier than that. Again, within your range of ability, going into shoulder presses, both arms. I'm going to stay in kneeling for the sake of the camera, <laughs> so it doesn't cut me off, but you can come to standing as well. Going in six seconds, bring those weights up to the shoulder, out to the side, 30 degree angle forward, press two, three to lower. Elbows coming in line with the shoulders at the bottom, no lower. Press, two, three, and four. You know my tempo for these. Pretty much always the same. I like that range. Two, three, and four. I know you're getting enough tension there. Palms are out. Rib cage down. Chest is lifted. Proud and tall. I wish I was taller. Don't tell anyone. Another four. Another three. Take your time. Two more. Last one, don't stop there. We're gonna bring it up, palms in into an Arnold press, palms out to the top. This is our pushing movement. Final round of three supersets, right at the end. Back is staying straight throughout, core sucked in tight. Stay with me, don't give up for those last few minutes. Two more sets to go. What is four minutes? It's the time it takes to build consistency. That's what it is. Keep going. Press out. Slowly lower. Control it inwards. Another four. Another three. Two more. Come on, tough it out. Slowly lower. Three, two, one, and lower those weights. Okay. Last one for pushing. Believe it or not, this is a pushing exercise. You're going against gravity here. We're going to hold both weights. The non-working side is going to be there for balance, to keep you stable and to stop you from rocking. The other side comes out at a 30 degree angle forward and lowers. Going in 10 seconds. Slow to lower, control that portion. You've got this. Going in three, going in two, show me what you're made of. In one, starting on the left, shoulders away from the ears. One, two, three, four, try not to touch the thighs. One, two, three, and four. If you feel at all that your upper body is rocking, lighten the load a little bit. One, two, three, and four. I am so glad that I did not go with my 15 pound weights for this. I am on fire right now. Another five. Another four, slow. Three more. Two more. Just a shoulder level. Last one, slowly down. Roll that shoulder back and down again. Over to the other side. Two, three, four, it's up. Two, three, four, don't let that arm drop. You're controlling it. A bend in the elbows the entire time, by the way. Working the anterior deltoid. A little bit of the medial as well. Quick up and slow to lower. 20 seconds left. Then our final set with that chair. Or if you're on the mat, same motion. Another five. Another four, how you feeling? You're feeling good, three more. 
last two. Burn that timer out, don't give up. Last one. And slowly down. That last rep where it feels like you can't do another one, I would actually rather that you even just do this, halfway. It still counts, it's gonna build that tension, it's gonna build your progress. Going in 15 seconds, the weights can go over to the side, we're done with those. We've got one last set, single leg hip thrusts. So come to the side, same thing on the mat. Bring those hips up, the left leg crosses over the right knee, in two, in one, same thing. Slowly lower, explode it up. One, two, three, and up. If you wanna make this harder, on the upward motion, bring that knee towards the torso, extend the leg as you come down. Careful not to arch your back. Foot is flexed on the non-working side, pressing up through the heel. Extend the lower, knee in to raise. Another four. And three. And two. Last one, lower that leg down, straight change. Right leg over the left, going down, two, three, and up. Squeeze that glute. And up. Again, if you wanna make this more challenging, knee in towards the top. Extend as you lower. Both hips facing towards the ceiling. Keeping your eye gaze forward, you've got 25 seconds left here. And up. And up. Four more. Three more. Two more, finish it off, come on. Two more, that's it. Last one. Lower it down, bring that knee in, lower that leg, and gently bring yourself off of that chair, quick stretch for us here. You're going to take both hands on the edge of the chair and lean forward. There we go, enjoy that stretch on the back muscles, the shoulder muscles. You can allow the head to relax here. And lift on up. If you're on the mat, you can take one arm through the opposite, relaxing the head down. How do we feel? Do we feel stronger? Did you grow another butt cheek? You need to let me know. <laughs> a lot of focus went into this one. All right, lift it up for me. And a quick stretch of the glutes, I think is a necessity at this point. And you also have your new calendar announcement at the end of this video. Our next month's guide is going to be about peripheral heart action training system. So come on to your back for me. Right leg over the left, straighten the left leg. Right arm out towards the side and gently bring that knee over. A back rotation, I got a nice click there, keeping both shoulders on the mat for me. I gotta bring my adrenaline down, whoo. Enjoy that stretch. If you want, you can straighten the leg and bend. Straighten and bend it back to neutral. Extend that right leg, left leg in the hover and left arm out towards the side. Rotate over. This just feels automatic for me. This is the number one stretch that I use in the week. Really great for whew, spinal health. <laughs> Your spinal column, okay. All right, bring that knee up. Now both knees in and just gently rock it out to the right. Over to the left. And roll yourself up. You can do a couple of rolls here actually for the lower back. Lift up. Whew. All right, sorry if that was super loud on the mic. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. That concludes our hip thrust challenge alongside all five of those basic movement patterns for which we did pressing, we did hinging, we did squatting, pulling, and pushing. So that is everything in one covering the entire body. <laughs> Let me know how you got along in the comments. Don't forget to write down the weights that you use. Share this with someone that you think it might help, and I will see you for our next brutal workout. Incredible work today, everyone. Now, before you head out, be sure to leave a note what weights you decided to go with today and let me know how you got along in the comments. Then prep yourself for the start of next week. On November 1st, we'll be starting our November Gladiatrix Guide. Within this 18-day calendar, you'll have five workouts a week and a brand new one every Wednesday, and our core focus throughout the month will be on peripheral heart action training system. This simply means that with every new workout that goes up next month, 
Our exercises will alternate between the upper and lower body to help you stimulate lean muscle development and enhance your energy output, aka how many calories you're burning. Now we will be kickstarting this off with a full body body weight only workout, so that will go up next Wednesday, November 1st at 9 a.m. EST on my channel. Be sure to turn those notifications on, finally like the video for me, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you for our next new workout.